Shane, I'm going to uh, compare your swing to Grant Wade, who was a tour player during the 90s and ha at that time con considered having one of the best swings in golf, is now considered one of the best uh, teachers of tour players. First, I'm going to take you to, to the impact position. The impact position is the most important position because everything the golf ball does, how high it goes, how far it goes, how much it curves, is determined by the club's position at the moment of impact. And the club's position at impact is determined by the body's position at impact. And everything you do prior to impact has the sole purpose of arriving at a fundamentally sound impact position. One of the key fundamentals of a golf swing but when the ball is on the ground is that it is critical that the low point of your golf swing be in front of the golf ball so that you hit the ball first in order to maximize the swing speed and transfer that energy to the golf ball in the most efficient way you must hit the ball before you hit the ground so it's ball first ground second and therefore the low point of the swing the ground is hit after the ball as it continues downward and then hits the divot after the ball. As we have placed a box around uh, the center of both ankles and drawn them up to the top of the head and you can see on Grant's picture that that red line off his left leg goes right through his belt buckle. So he has placed the, his center of his body mass in front of the golf ball on top of that left leg that's one of the main things that helps him have that um, sh um, low point in front of the golf ball so he's guaranteeing that he's going to hit the ball first. You have moved more weight on your left leg but you still have too much body weight behind the foot. Uh, your basic center of, of gravity is still between the in the middle of the box and therefore you're not going to be able to place that low point in front of the golf ball. The other thing that uh, getting his weight forward, you can see that Grant's hands um, are right on that red line as well and the shaft is angling back so he has his hands in front of the ball at impact as well. So he has what we call a shaft lean in his and your shaft is pretty straight, right on, almost on top of the ball when you make contact with it. Uh, what this allows Grant to do uh, is because his hands are in front of the ball and his weight's in front of the ball, he's going to have a, an attack angle downward into the golf ball. And you're going to be coming in too level. Um, and this will... Uh, cause inconsistency in hitting it solid and many times you'll hit it fat, you'll hit it behind the golf ball or you'll hit it thin, you'll catch it on the upswing and catch it thin. So the only way to increase the consistency of solid hitting is to get your weight forward and hands forward at impact. Now let's look at some of the things you do prior to impact that's maybe preventing you from getting into this good impact position that Grant has. At the setup, Grant has a little bit more shaft lean um, in his setup than you do. His hands are slightly more in front of the golf ball to begin with. He's kind of in a mini impact position and uh, you uh, have your hands back a little too far. I like those hands a little bit more forward. In a minute I'm going to show you how you, we worked on this while you were practicing and I'm going to show you the change you made which is was really good. I'll, show a side-by-side -side of that in a second. Also looking at the weight distribution at the setup, uh, Grant has a little bit more weight on his left foot to begin with. You have a little bit more weight on your right foot to begin with. Um, and this is uh, going to promote uh, the image in Grant's mind of being in this little mini impact position. So he's almost rehearsing the feeling that he wants to have at impact. So he's preparing his mind and body for impact even at the beginning. Here we are at the three position. This is when the left arm is parallel to the ground. 
And if you look just at your body position from the waist up, you look very similar to Grant. You have a nice extension in your left arm. You've hinged your wrist and have almost a right angle in the shaft in the left arm. The difference, though, lies in the lower body. You can see how Grant has maintained his weight on his left leg. That red line is going right through his left knee. He has, his head is on top of his foot, his left foot, and you have swayed back to the right leg. And so you have moved your, the low point of your golf swing behind the golf ball. Grant still has his low point in front of the golf ball. Grant did not move his golf circle to the right. He's, both of you are rotating around the circle correctly and in good form. But, but you have moved your circle at the same time, so you've added a complexity to your golf swing that will make you inconsistent. On the left uh, was your swing before you started working on making some adjustments. And it's the first thing that jumps out very clearly is how you do have much more shaft lean in your setup that you are here your hands are basically right on top of the golf ball and here your hands are definitely in front of the golf ball so that's excellent you've got a nice straight line uh, from your left shoulder right through the shaft everything's in a nice straight line you've got a good constant radius for your golf circle. So that's excellent. Here we are in the three position and you can see how on the left you slid your hip outside the box, uh, your right hip outside the box. You swayed. You didn't really turn that much. You had too much lateral motion in your golf swing and not keeping the golf club on the circle. And on the right uh, you had a much better sense of, of how you should shape your golf swing more in a circle and, and that helped you keep more weight on the inside of your back foot. Uh, your right hip is still inside the box. That's just a big and big improvement. So you, as you continue to work on your fundamentals of your golf swing, uh, I would continue working on this back swing where you feel like you keep a little bit more weight on that left side and that'll keep your low point of your golf swing more in front of that golf ball, allow you to be more consistent at, at hitting the ball before you hit the ground. Uh, so you, that's a big improvement in one practice session. That's very good. Now I'm looking at the impact position of the before and after. On the left at impact, uh, you had your hands uh, almost on top of the golf ball, and now you have your hands in front of the golf ball. So that's a big improvement. And of course, you can see how your, your shoulder and your leg you are pressing, you've got your center of gravity, center of your body mass much more on top of your left foot. So because you didn't move so far to the right in your backswing, it's easier if you get back to the left on the, on the impact position. So you were doing a better job in, uh, of getting your low point in front of the golf ball by the time you get to impact. So as you continue to work on that, that feeling of staying uh, on your left side uh, all the way through the backswing and getting to that left in your at impact. So the thought is start on the left, stay on the left, move left.